Hey, hey, I came from China by myself 20 years ago, and I finally became a citizen. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> hey, I had to give up my Chinese citizenship for you all. Do you know what it feels like to see China on the rise every day? <laughs> That's like seeing your ex doing better and better the moment you left him. <laughs> every day I'm like, America, pull it together. I mean, this too deep. <laughs> Just to clarify, um, it is the China side that doesn't allow dual citizenship. Like how my husband wouldn't allow me to have a boyfriend. <laughs> I know, he's so narrow-minded, like China. <laughs> I do love my husband, okay? It took me so long to find him. <laughs> when I married, I was already 39. Wow, wow. <laughs> hey, I broke the thousand-year family record. <laughs> Everyone in the family, all my cousins, they had two kids already. Yeah, my grandma, oh, every day she'll be begging me. We just get married? Because if I die, I can't even close my eyes. And two years ago, this one got married. Woo, thank you, thank you. In three months, three grandparents drop like flies. Oh Do you realize I was keeping my grandparents alive the whole time? I was the hero of the family. I do have one grandma uh, still left, yeah. Only because she has dementia. I told her I just couldn't remember. <laughs> hey, I know it's a little dark, but I think it's really funny. <laughs> my husband is a quarter Italian. Yeah, I know that's the right response. Oh, yeah, you're excited. <laughs> Only a quarter, but he speaks fluent sopranos. Gee, <laughs> will you busting my balls? <laughs> so I call him the fake Italian. He's like a Gucci logo on a knockoff bag. <laughs> But I'm Chinese. That's a great deal. <laughs> he's learning my language, Mandarin. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, but he's intimidated by the tones. Okay, I'm going to say something very controversial. Fuck the tones. <laughs> Chinese people, we're smart. We figured it out. Okay? In China, I went to the supermarket. He tried to use this new word he learned, uh, strawberry, cao mei. But he said, cao mei, which means, fuck your sister. <laughs> but hey, you're in a grocery store, and you asked to fuck my sister? I still give you the strawberry. <laughs> I guarantee not a single Chinese person will be confused. Because we're all the only child. Nobody has a sister. But on the other side, okay, the experience is completely different. Yeah, I've been here for a long time now, and I am so tired of Americans correcting my pronunciation of Chinese words. <laughs> you know the word feng shui? Yeah, it's Chinese, feng shui. But if I say it like that, people go, oh, no, no, Bernice, watch my mouth. It's feng shui. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you teaching me Chinese now? <laughs> Shut the feng up. <laughs> No, no. Hey, watch my mouth. This is Bo Shui. <laughs> yeah, this is a Chinese word. Let me have it. It's not Yin Yang. It's Yin Yang. Yeah. It's not Shanghai. It's Shanghai. It's not TikTok. 
It's thanks for your information. Guys, guys, stop selling your data to my ex, okay?